What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 5 things that you may not know in GTA Online. This is episode 5, if you guys want to check out any of the previous episodes once this video has finished, you can of course do so, there'll be links to all of those in the description. But let's start this episode off with a very useful trick which allows you to instantly reduce your wanted level in a matter of seconds no matter what you're doing or how many stars you have. Now first of all of course you'll have to get yourself a wanted level and you can be doing absolutely anything you want whether it be stealing cars, shooting cops or simply robbing a store like I am right now. And once you get yourself a wanted level, this is what you want to do. You first of all want to move away from your location so you're out of sight of the police and your wanted level is flashing. Now you don't actually have to move away too far to do this. As you guys can see, I drove something like 10 meters away from the gas station and my wanted level is already flashing. Anyway, so once your wanted level is flashing, you want to open up your interactive menu, go to style, then go to accessories, scroll down to masks and put on any mask mask and upon doing so you'll find straight away your wanted level is reduced by one star so for example in the video I was initially on three stars and now I have two and like I said before this will work with any wanted level no matter how many stars you have so if you have five stars you can reduce it down to four if you have two stars you can reduce it down to one and so on so obviously in most cases this can be a very useful trick to bear in mind now sure you could just call up Lester and have your wanted level removed completely but do bear in mind you can only use that feature once every five minutes and of course to use Lester it will cost you money but this trick is completely free it may not remove your wanted level but it will definitely make evading the cops much much easier for example when you have a three star wanted level there'll be helicopters trying to track you down there'll also be roadblocks on most roads and things like that but reducing that down to a two star wanted level removes both of those and all you'll have chasing after you then are cop cars which are pretty easy to avoid Anyways, moving on to the next trick, now as I'm sure you guys know, when you load up a contact mission, you'll start exactly where you load it up. But what you may not know is that you can in fact do that anywhere around the map, literally. You can be deep sea diving or you can be in a helicopter. So to give you guys an example of this, as you guys can see right now in the video, I am in a helicopter well above the city and I've accepted an invite from Gerald through the phone to play methed up. Upon hitting confirm settings and play when I spawned in, I spawned in parachuting towards the city. So there we go guys, you can literally start up a contact mission anywhere and you'll spawn exactly where you loaded things up. But what you should find if you start most contact missions off parachuting towards them is that you can in fact give yourself the advantage, especially if you have to go to a location where you have to take some people out, maybe steal something or anything along those lines. Just make sure the helicopter is well above the location where the contact mission takes place. Of course, load things up, parachute towards the location and take out anybody you need to and it should make the mission much, much easier to play. Now moving on to the third trick that you may not know in GTA Online, this involves the new truck that was only added into GTA Online a few weeks ago. But basically what you may not know about this truck is that there is no reflection in water. Now sure it doesn't sound very exciting and I guess it's not, but I guess it's one of those really cool things which you can just take a look at, maybe show your friends and so on. But as you guys can see right now in the video, I have parked my rally truck in this puddle on Vespucci Beach and as you guys can see the truck itself does have a livery, but in the reflection it is completely grey and it doesn't have a livery on it. Now this should be visible anywhere where you can find a reflection of this vehicle, whether it's water, whether it's a window or anything like that, just go ahead and find somewhere where you can see the reflection of this vehicle and it should be exactly how it is in the video for me. The vehicle is completely grey in the reflection and has no livery. Anyway, so moving on to the next trick, now this one allows you to change the colour of stock wheels on any car. So I'm sure you guys know there are plenty of vehicles in GTA Online which have unique stock wheels which aren't applicable at the custom shop. For example, the Drift Tampa which I'm using in the video right now has a really cool set of stock wheels which you can't select in the custom shop or change the colour of. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do that. 
So first of all what you want to do is take the car into any custom shop around the map, then go to the wheels category and purchase any set of wheels. You can buy any ones you want, I'd recommend just buying some cheap ones, it really doesn't matter. Then go ahead and choose which wheel colour you want the stock wheels to be. Now I'm going to be using lime green as an example but this will work with any wheel colour. And upon doing that, then back out of the custom shop. From here then, what you need to do is load up the iFruit app on your iOS or Android device. If you haven't got it already, just go ahead and download it, and of course sign into your social club account. But once you've loaded the app up, just go ahead and find the vehicle which you just fit the wheels to, and then reselect the stock wheels. What you can then do is save the changes and go back into GTA Online. Now you don't have to leave the game or reload GTA Online whilst you're doing this. Just go onto the iFruit app, make the changes and then go back to the game and when you do so give it roughly 30 seconds or so then go back into the custom shop and the first option you'll be given is to process your app order. Of course select it and you'll now find the stock wheels have been fitted to your vehicle but it'll have the wheel colour which you just selected on the previous set of wheels. So there we go, with this trick you can transfer wheel colours from any set of wheels to the stock ones. But this trick is very very simple and easy to do, I'm sure you guys will find this one useful. In some cases some of the stock wheels available on the vehicles are extremely cool but obviously unavailable in game to select from the custom shop. Like I said before, I really do like the drift tamper wheels, the stock ones this vehicle come with, but unfortunately the only colour available in game is that horrible grey wheel colour. But of course with this trick you can change that to any colour you want. Now over the past few weeks, quite a few of you guys have been asking me to share a quick and easy method to get cash in GTA Online. Well one of the best methods right now involves a rewards platform named FreeMyApps. Simply search up freemyap.ps slash promo chaotic on the browser of your mobile device and then click get started. Users on an iOS device will be prompted to install a profile on their device, whereas users on Android will be taken to the Google Play Store to download the app. Now once the app is installed, you can load it up where you'll then be greeted with a list of apps that you can download for credits. Simply select any app, download it and then run it for 30 seconds or so and then you can return to free my apps. You should then instantly receive your points but occasionally it can take up to 30 minutes for the points to update in your balance. So don't worry if they don't show up straight away. Now once you've downloaded a few apps, you can then redeem your credits for gift cards such as Xbox, PlayStation and Steam gift cards which of course can then be used to purchase shark cards. Now yes, for every person that uses my referral link, I will receive 200 points. But rather than keep all the gift cards for myself, I'm going to give away everything. So once you've downloaded free my apps and you've downloaded a few apps on your device, simply leave a comment on this video for a chance of winning something. But hopefully this method will help you guys out, get some cash in GTA Online. Like I said before, it is a pretty easy and simple method. So go ahead and use my referral link, there's a link in the description to get started. Anyway, so with that being said, that is it for this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed these five things that you may not know in GTA Online. Like I said before at the beginning of the video, if you guys want to check out any of the previous episodes, there'll be links to all of those in the description of this video. But if you guys could take a few seconds out of your like button, Button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. If you guys have any tricks you'd like to share, of course leave a comment on this video. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.